<laughs> oh, of course I know Kiswahili. How do you say hi in Kiswahili? Um, oh god, shit, um, Jambo? Let me show you how crazy but dope Swahili is as a language. Hatu ku ku kumbuka means we didn't remember you. Each of those kus means something different. Ni 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 liona. What was it that I saw? All of those knees are different. Most people say that Swahili is one of the easiest languages to learn in East Africa. You guys, I really don't know because I've not tried learning the language, but I just know a few things like Mambo, Powa, Asante, all of those small, small things. <laughs> those are the ones I can still remember, okay? Because every day people are seeing you and they ask, they are telling you mambo, you're telling them poa, you know, those kind of things. Eh? And you buy something and you're hearing Asante or somebody's calling and telling you, oh, you're Nigerian, oh, Caribou, Kenya. You know, all of those things, those are the little ones I learned, okay? But you guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that uh, it's easier to learn uh, Swahili than any other language in the world? For me, I think it's a bit complicated because um, uh, <laughs> if not have been there, I don't think I would have even known a little bit of this Swahili thing, right? But it's one of those languages I really would love to learn if given a chance, okay? Or if I had to stay there for a while, I think I want to, you know, sign up to learn the language. But there are different apps right now that people can use to learn languages like the Duolingo app. Also, there are some online teachers that can coach you on how to speak a particular language, including Swahili. Anyway, the reason for this video today is us reacting to some videos I saw of foreigners speaking Swahili. Let's go check out their Swahili. Uh, let's go check out their Swahili strength, okay? Then you guys let me know in the comment section if they did well. Like, let us know in the comment section if they did well because you guys are the only ones that can tell us, okay? Then, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do well to hit that subscribe button and be part of the family. So let's go ahead and check out those videos right away. So I've been learning Kiswahili lately and I want to try something, but don't laugh. No, we're okay? not going to laugh. <laughs> All right, so... Habari marafiki zangu, jina langu ni Charity Ekezie, ninatoka Nigeria. So, ninajaribu kujifunza Kiswahili uh, na natumai, ninajaribu. Um, ninasema Kiingereza, ninasema Kifaransa, ninasema Kiibo. Na Kiswahili kidogo sana, kidogo sana. So, um, nilitaka tu kusema asante kwa msaada wako. Asante sana uh, na kupenda and God bless you. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I hope I tried. <laughs> oh my God, I think she tried though, seriously, because for me, I feel she tried. Let's see what people are saying in the comment. For me, I feel like, I feel she tried. Somebody say, you speak perfect Swahili than 99% of Kenyans. Uh, somebody said, she said, you're looking for trouble. Seriously, she actually tried, right? Even me, I can't even say most of the things, if I can't say it. Okay, you speak good English than our neighbors, Kenyans. Who is this one again? <laughs> good enough, I am from Tanzania, where Kiswahili comes from. You sound like Congolese, thus the way their Swahili sound. Does, does Congolese actually speak Swahili? Let's know in the comment. Okay, I don't think they speak Swahili, but... Yeah, you guys let me know in the comment. Impressive. Welcome to a Swahili word. Since you are one of us, your Swahili name is Siku, Sikud Hani. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so let's check out another person who also spoke Swahili and happened to be a foreigner. <laughs> oh my, this Swahili thing. I think I should go and do my own. No, let me go and learn how to say all of these things that this lady said and come out there. And she's my Nigerian sister. She can speak Swahili. You guys, I think I should go and learn. No? <laughs> you know, one thing I actually know is that it's actually not bad for you to learn different languages, okay? Like this other lady, Charity AKZ, she said she can speak English, she can speak Igbo because she's an Igbo lady and she can speak French. You see, she's already bilingual, so she can survive anywhere. Then now speaking Swahili. Swahili is the highest spoken language in africa i think you guys let me know in the comment section i think that's what it is okay so you can find swahili everywhere it's one of those widest spoken languages in africa so 
unlike my Igbo tribe where we only speak Igbo in my own country and the eastern part of Nigeria I just feel like it's okay for people to learn different languages even while in Africa it will really help you a lot okay being there's nothing bad in being like bilingual person it's really not bad and most times it can even help you to get jobs faster for some youth who are looking for job maybe you should try learning French and English it will also help you to get a job faster okay I think I heard a testimony of a particular lady who found some money like a very huge amount of money in a hotel room in a co hot hotel and suite in nigeria and when she found that money she gave it to the just like that she carried it and gave back to uh the manager who finally contacted whoever left the money and you know she was promoted i think she even got a visa to get it she got a job in canada just because of her honesty and for the fact that she could speak french because that job was in the french part of canada so yeah different things are just happening and it's very good for us to learn languages at least be prepared for any opportunity that might just come your way okay so let's look at other muzungus Kwapa mambo vipi? Kama kawaida. Kama Ulimbora. Ulimbora. That lady looks either Japanese or or Chinese, okay? And she's speaking Swahili. I mean that is an African like this. I don't know how to speak Swahili. Well, that's amazing. I really like it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Learn languages. You will love it for sure. Trust me. So let's look at this Muzungu as well. In Kenya, you don't say good morning. You say abari asubu. And in Kenya, you don't say how are you. You say abari gani. You don't say I love you. You say nakupenda. See you guys from Kenya. <laughs> You don't say I love you, you say Nakupenda, Nakupenda. I think there's a song that is actually Nakupenda. Let me know in the comments, but I know I've heard that song somewhere. Nakupenda, something like that. Yeah, I think I've heard a song like that in that line, but there's actually Nakupenda in that song. I know I've heard it in Matatu once or twice. Like, I've heard that song somehow. <laughs> Ati, what do you know, Liza? Do you know Nuga ya mama, lazima. Uh -huh. Yeah, ni naitu wa Kilonzo uh -huh. wa Makweni. Uh -huh. Kilonzo wa Makweni, umevika. Yes. Eh. Kusema ukweli, mm. hapa si nyumbani. Uh -huh. Nyumbani yango ni huko. Huko nyumbani. Ni huko Kenya, huko nyumbani. Pale pale. <laughs> yes, tuko tu safarini hapa. Mm. Kwa sababu hapa inji hii na itaji injili sana sana. Mm -hmm. So lakini mwisho wifika kama hii mm -hmm. tutarodi nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Mwisho we tutafika nyumbani. Wache tutape chape injili hapa na kule. Hapa Philippines sisi tuko hapa kwa Filipo. Hapo kwa buko Philippians ndiyo sisi tupo jamani. <laughs> eh, hey, ebo tupende sisi. We are rockampo. Tupe like. Tupe. Wait, where is my husband again? Because... I tell me the reason why my husband is from the same country with me and he cannot speak Igbo fluently. Like this Filipino man is speaking Swahili fluently with his wife. For God's sake. You guys, where is my husband? <laughs> Do you know that even me, I can't even speak the Yoruba language, okay? I'm an Igbo girl, proud Igbo girl. I can't speak Yoruba language. And here is a Filipino man speaking Swahili very well. This man is not from Africa in any way. In any way, he just fortunate enough to marry an African woman who happens to be a Kenyan. You guys. Okay, I think I should take my Swahili classes very seriously. Don't go where are you again? Let's go. <laughs> anyway guys i hope you had fun as much as i had fun okay do you have somebody who uh, happens to be a muzungu or somebody who is not 
from Kenya or any Swahili speaking uh, country like Tanzania and the rest that actually speaks Swahili fluently. Let us know in the comment section because I am proud of those people. I am proud of the person for God's sake. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching. See you guys on my next video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a thumbs up and let's be friends. See you guys. Bye.